Find a position for your body that feels comfortable for you. Maybe it's sitting in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. Maybe you'd even like to stand. Do whatever feels comfortable for you and your body right now. And as you find that comfortable position, allow your body to enjoy that comfort, to settle into that comfort. And having found a comfortable posture for your body, do a quick scan of your body to see if there's any muscular tension that's present for you at this time. Maybe in your face or your shoulders, your arms, your hips, your legs. If you find that there's tension present anywhere in your body, Gently invite that tension to relax, to loosen, to ease up. Relax your body. Allow your body to settle in to being comfortable and relaxed. If at any time you become uncomfortable, you can shift your posture. And if at any time tightness returns, you can relax once again. And if you'd like, if it feels good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. By creating a physical smile on your face, you nudge your body towards emotional happiness. Spend a moment just enjoying being here, being comfortable, relaxed, with a gentle, easy smile on your face. In this way, we've prepared the body for loving kindness practice. And without leaving this place, begin to prepare the mind for loving kindness practice. In particular, 
reflect on things in your life that you can summon a sense of gratitude for. Anything at all, big or small, ordinary or special. As you think of these things, say them in your mind. Feel grateful for my friends. Feel grateful for having a place to sleep. Feel grateful for having food to eat. Whatever it is for you, say those things in your mind. Be sure that you can hear the phrases in your mind, telling yourself what you feel grateful for. And allow that to summon a felt sense of gratitude in the body. If your smile widens or your heart warms, notice that and really enjoy it. Loving kindness practice can create felt sensations of happiness and joy in the body. Practicing gratitude primes the pump for that to happen. Very good. Now, bring to mind someone who's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Your easy to love person or animal. This might be a friend or family member, a small child or pet in your life. Could even be someone imaginary, imagining an animal or a baby, really anyone that you like, so long as it's relatively easy for you to feel love for this person. Consider someone like that and bring them to mind. See them in your mind's eye and imagine them being happy. Visualize that. Perhaps seeing them smiling or laughing. Perhaps recalling a memory that you shared with them. See that in your mind's eye. If you'd like, you can say phrases directed towards this person. 
phrase like, I love you, or I care about you, or I want you to be so happy, or any phrase that you like, really. It's totally optional, whatever feels good for you. The main thing is to cultivate an attitude of well-wishing and love towards your easy-to-love person or animal. Again, if any feelings of love or happiness, care and affection arise for you, if you can feel that in your body, notice that and really enjoy it. These feelings may or may not arise for you, but if they do, really enjoy them. Continue to practice cultivating love towards your easy to love person or animal for another moment. Very good. Now, without losing any feelings of loving kindness that may have arisen for you, switch the focus of your love towards someone who's been a mentor or teacher or guide for you. Someone who's helped you, advised you, cared for you, loved you. Consider someone who's filled that role for you as a teacher or guide, mentor of some kind. And bring them to mind. See this person in your mind's eye. Say something to them. 
Talk to them in your imagination. Tell them what you appreciate about them, what you're grateful for, the ways that they helped you. Say that to them in your imagination. I really appreciate the ways you helped me. I know it wasn't easy for you, but you helped me so much. And I'll always be grateful. Of course, you can say any phrase that you like, whatever resonates for you, whatever feels appropriate for you in this relationship that you have with this person. But speak to them in your mind, saying thank you, appreciating them. Thank you so much. So appreciate the ways you helped me. I'll always be grateful. Whatever phrases resonate for you, say those in your mind. Be sure that you can hear them, just as if you were speaking to them in the room that you're in, but using your mind. Have that conversation and express appreciation. So grateful to you. Thank you so much. If any feelings of love or appreciation or gratitude arise for you, again, notice those and really enjoy them. Just as you would take in a beautiful sunset, noticing it, appreciating it, really enjoy it. Wish this mentor or guide well. Wish that they would be happy. Cultivate an attitude of gratitude for their help and well wishing that they might be happy. Cultivate that attitude. You can do that with images in your mind or phrases that you say or just the feelings in your body. In any case, appreciate them and wish them well.
If you'd like, you can stay with the same mentor, teacher, or guide, or you can move on to someone new. You can go through as many people as you like, thanking them, appreciating them, wishing them well. You get to decide. You might feel like staying with the same person for a long time or moving through many different people. See what's best for you tonight. Keep cultivating appreciation and love for your teachers and guides, the mentors that you've had in your life. Take the time to say thank you. And the feelings of love and appreciation arise. Really enjoy those.
Very good. Now, take a moment to look back. What was this practice period like for you? What happened? Did you learn anything new? Did you face any challenges? Take a moment to reflect and consider. As you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation.